Hello beauties, welcome back to my channel, it's Cece and if you haven't already, please do subscribe. Join the family, my little hairless family, Froggy's had a haircut. <laughs> she always has a little lion cut when it gets to the summer. It takes her a couple of days to adjust, we take her to the local groomers, um, they do a lovely job. She's just so funny and hairless. It just stops the matting and just helps her to be a little bit cooler for the summer because her hair gets out of control guys. Anyway, I digress. Today, we are packing for our first ever family holiday. I'm stressed. I thought because we're going to Ibiza, I would do a little pack with me, travel tips and what I'm packing for traveling abroad with a baby. And then I'll be vlogging the trip, so when I get back, expect a little family holiday vlog. I've got lots planned. I've got a couple of videos planned actually for when we're out there. I'm not gonna get into the case just yet. I'm gonna go through the segments with you and I can't take credit for the organization. My friend Rach helped me <laughs> a lot today because I had so much to do. I haven't even started packing for myself, but we're gonna do that together. However, I've gathered all the bits together and I've also got loads of advice from you guys as to what's handy to pack and what you basically can't travel without when you have a newborn. Birdie Blue is seven months old crazy time has flown and Ibiza is officially on the green list so we did have to have a covid test pre-travel within 48 hours that only got added as a new rule yesterday um so we've done that that was 115 pounds each we did it in Hertfordshire came back negative Woohoo! so we just show that on arrival and then on departure we have to again get a covid test within 48 hours in Ibiza Spain and as long as it's negative, we can travel home and no quarantining necessary. What a dream. So let's get into it. I'm not gonna show you absolutely everything I'm cramming into my cases, but I'm gonna touch on the absolute essentials and things that oh, if people didn't remind me or I hadn't have bought, I just feel like they're gonna be game changers. Do you know what I mean? So let's start with the changing bag. My first tip is, oh, <laughs> nappy flying in my face. My first tip would be to absolutely pack this changing bag for your baby as if your cases might not turn up for a day because they might not turn up for a day. It's happened to me before. Cases go missing sometimes, so just make sure you have enough um, clothes and food just so you can be stuck in an airport and not worry. In our changing bag for traveling abroad, we have nappies. I've got about seven nappies there. That should be plenty for like a whole day. And then we have a travel fan. This is one of those things that people suggested to me and I was like, Absa friggin' lootly. Oh, I need this right now. I'm so hot and stressed. USB charger as well, which is brilliant. So I'm gonna put this on her buggy. If she gets obviously a bit hot on the plane, if she gets a bit hot, I can like fan her down. Um, also white noise. So we love a fan on at night and I just feel like this would be nice to cool her down. She loves a little bit of a breeze. iPad, a crucial, I've downloaded bit of pepper pig, cocoa melon, frozen, moana for the plane ride because, well, for the holiday in general really, because she does watch a bit of TV. She loves it, it makes her happy and definitely don't want her whinging on the plane. So I'll be happy to put that screen in front of her face. Also, I have a bottle. I need to fill this up with sterilized water. Um, I'm gonna fill up two, but I'm breastfeeding. So I'm not too worried about running out of um, milk, but she does, combi feed so I'll have two I normally feed her two bottles of formula in a day so that would be plenty and I'll put the formula powder in just a little pot um, which I need to scoop out and put in here cow pearl <laughs> absolutely essential for traveling I've got little teething salts as well soda cream nappy rash cream probably don't need both of these I might take this one out and just use soda cream because this is just good for everything isn't it spare dummies or pacifiers she loves these bib dummies her favorite blanket this will be the only blanket i take um with me in hand luggage and on the plane it's just like a little comforter as well she has another one which i'm gonna pack but she's just sleeping with that now two little spare outfits for her um i haven't bothered with vests because it's so hot at the moment i will take this little fleece as well just in case it does get cold but yeah i haven't bothered with the <laughs> can't hold this clearly. I haven't bothered with the vests because um, these are really soft and she's just getting very hot at the moment. Some little snacks when she gets hungry. I mean, we're only traveling between the hours of five and we get to Ibiza at like 
half ten in the morning, so 5am to half ten, so she's going to be asleep for half that anyway, and then wake up, have her breakfast, which will be one of these for travelling on the go, Ella's pouches, um, yeah, little mini puffs, little snacks, she loves her little snacks, and then of course water wipes, I also have these Milton wipes, these are antibacterial, so I can use that for the plane, for like her spoons, anything like that, really handy, kills bacteria and viruses. So this is BB's hand luggage. Now, I don't want you to think that I was ignoring you guys because I did ask for advice and I received a lot of feedback saying don't take your own stroller. It gets bashed about in the hold, but guys, I'm gonna take my own stroller. I did order a travel buggy, it didn't come in time, but I wasn't keen on it anyway and I, I'm gonna send it back. I didn't wanna spend an extra 100 pounds just in case my expensive one got damaged when I can take it all the way up to the plane anyway. So like, what's the point? I might as well just um, take my travel buggy, fold it up, we're gonna pad it up in bags and bungee cords together and then just hope that they're like, not battering it about like what's the worst that can happen i guess the worst that can happen is they break it and it is an expensive buggy it's my cybex um pream it's an amazing pram and i just oh, it's so easy to push she's familiar with it she's so young at the moment all of the travel strollers are very like they're more city uppy whereas she needs to recline and be comfortable because she's just a little baby so i'm sorry guys i'll let you know if it makes it I hope it does I mean that'd be tragic wouldn't it and I'll be like you told me so I'll insert a picture here of the um, stroller we're taking and then when we get there we've hired a car and they provide a car seat but that was the easiest way I didn't want to hold her on my lap in taxis I wanted the freedom to just be able to drive around the island and also I don't know what she's gonna be like in taxis when we hold her she might be all fidgety and cry I don't know we've never done that before I don't feel safe either so at least if we have a car, we have a car seat, we've got our stroller, we're comfortable, you know? Oh, one thing I forgot to mention is a thermometer. It's just best to have it on you, I'd say. There's gonna be so many things I forget. A toy, I forgot to put a toy in the hand luggage in her changing bag. She'll definitely need that to play with because yeah, she loves her little toys. I might even pack this weird thing because it takes up no space and she just loves it. <laughs> Of course this is dependent on how old your baby is, what they like, what their needs are. And of course as I get into the case now, it depends on where you're going. I'm going on a sunny holiday, but it'll be different for different weather conditions, I guess. I am excited to show you some of my summer pieces from Pretty Little Thing though. I might try on a few for you ahead of my holiday. Maybe I'll choose like my 10 favorite pieces, try them on for you, make sure they fit before I put them in my case because my sizing is strange at the moment. Pretty Little Thing are killing it with their styles and patterns and colours at the moment, right up my street. So I'll try on some bits with you. Let me know in the comments what you like, of course. Um, and then, yeah, I'll be packing them to take with me to get those holiday sleigh picks. Of course, my cat is trying to get into every single bag there is. <laughs> I can't get into the right position to chat to you, <laughs> but this is gonna have to do. Um, so. Let's chat through essentials. Again, things that you guys said, Cece, you're gonna need these traveling with baby. So, first of all, pool float. You can obviously buy these once you're out there, but I just got mine from Amazon. It's one of those ones where you kind of lay on your front, it's got a little shade for her. So I've got that. Packing cubes as well, absolute game changer. So I'm putting all my extra food bits. I'm actually gonna go shopping once I'm there for milk. Um, for powdered milk, nappies. I'm basically just taking stuff to last a couple of days and then we're gonna do a shop when we're there at the supermarkets because I don't wanna like pack a million nappies in the case. I just wanna kind of shop when we're there so I'm not gonna take swimming nappies or anything like that. Um, and like I said, I'm not gonna go through every single thing in this case but the most crucial pieces, so yeah. Her food, and these are a game changer. So, Milton sterilizing tablets. So if you haven't got hot water in your room or a microwave or kind of sterilizing equipment, these apparently, all you need to do is put them in a bowl of water or like the sink, and they sterilize the bottles with like the tablets. Brilliant. Little bath toy for her. We can buy toys for her out there, a couple of washcloths. A little changing mat, more water wipes, some puffs. So that's all very handy. 
Ah, this was highly recommended, a beach tent. So if we go to the beach or anywhere really and she needs shelter, we just pop this up and she's got shelter and a little kind of place to play and I can put the fan in there for her and she can just play whilst protected, UV protection. So that's handy. Oh, I should probably put her sun cream in this bag too. I've also got her bedtime wash. It's a bit heavy, so I might decanter that depending on the weight of the case once I'm packed. And in here we have, we've got two big muslins and two small muslins. So that will just be handy for anything really. I don't actually get through many muslins, I have to say, like spew rags, whatever you call them. Um, but these are going to be very handy for just either draping over the stroller as well, just for shade or anything. Like we can get those washed as well whilst we're out there. Got some bows for her. This is her swimwear. Oh my goodness. Let me show you a couple of pieces. Oh, God deal. Oh my goodness. I actually can't deal. Um, and then we've got some cute little summer hats for her. Of course, hats are essential for babies. So I've got swimsuits and sleep suits in here and lots of bows, which is always very handy. She can just obviously sleep in little onesies, just like this really, because there will be aircon in the room. Cute. And we're only there for seven nights. So, I'm sure she'll cope. Then in here, I think we've got pretty day outfits. Oh, how cute is this? This is a cute little cardigan. She will need like a cardigan for when she gets chilly in the evening. I don't know if she'll get chilly, but there's some gorgeous pieces. Oh, a little photo match and just so many cute summer pieces. So these are just for the daytime. She's got more than enough here. Of course, you'll see her outfits. Um, over the week featured in the vlog I'll try and tag everything and let you know each day what clobber she's dressed in oh let me show you this I mean it's just too cute it looks a bit big for her but she is getting big I've got another pouch full of her toys the thing every time I get something out I'm like you guys have to see it because like, can you even cope with this little romper? So yeah, let's try a few of those pretty little thing pieces on, see what fits, and then start packing for me. <laughs> are you like a last minute packer or are you a very prepared a week in advance type packer? Can't relate, but good for you. <laughs> good for you. <laughs> okay, let's rip these pretty little thing packages open because there is nothing more satisfying, is there, besties? I don't want to break my nails. By the way, how sick are these nails? Can you see them? Is it focusing? Yes. Rackstar Specials. So my best friend, Rach, aka Rackstar Nails, does press-on acrylics, and they are thebalm.com. I'm determined not to overpack this holiday. I'm gonna take, so it's seven days, seven bikinis. I'm gonna take 10 bikinis. What I'm gonna do is just show you the shoes and the swimwear first, because I'm gonna pack my swimwear cube. Where's my cube? Now, I hate to break it to you, but I'm not about to get into my itty bitty bikini um, for this vlog. So I'm just gonna show you them and show you the shoes and then try on the clothes. I still need to prep my body, do you know what I mean? You'll see them on me when I'm out and about on Instagram, on my vlog. Can you cope with this print though? So this is a three piece. These look a bit big. Oh no, they ruched in. Amazing. Oh, how gorgeous. Just look. And the nails. Guys, the nails and the bikini. So these bikini bottoms go with this bikini top. Oh, don't tell me I've ordered two pairs of bikini bottoms. Yeah, don't worry. Anyway, on to the next bikini. I will link that below because I'm sure the bikini top is beautiful in real life. But we still have another bikini. Like when I said pretty little thing and nailing the prints and the colours, this is what I mean. It still goes with these nails, yay! So we've got this little triangle bikini top and then we've got little, we haven't got bottoms actually. I remember specifically not getting bottoms to this because I'm going to wear just 
plain white ones because this is going to be the coordinating piece. I mean, has a t-shirt ever screamed Ibiza more than this? I don't think so. I don't think so. Wow. So I'm just going to wear this bikini top, this beautiful shirt and just a plain pair of um, either orange or white bikini bottoms just to kind of balance the print out. Do you know what I mean? Maybe I can do that with these actually. I'll see what I've got. If I've got like a little lilac top, then we can wear the bottoms. We'll see how we go. I'm obsessed with this shirt and it's a beautiful like, it's not silky, it's almost in between like fabric and silk. It's really gorgeous. And what I love about it is it's the kind of fabric that doesn't crease, like not overly. It just feels really lightweight. It's not crispy, it's just so soft. I can't wait to wear that. This little bikini is cute. Oh, oh. So this bikini goes on like this and wraps around the body like that. A little bit abstract and then the bottom. Oh, these are nice. Little thong bikini. I mean, if you can wear this anywhere, Ibiza is the place. Got another bag here, guys. Oh my gosh. So this is the matching mesh top to the bikini bottoms. I'll definitely be wearing that. That is gorgeous. And maybe I can just wear like a white bikini top underneath then. Perfect. And then this is my last little bikini. That I'm gonna show you guys. <laughs> wow, who do I think I am? Very cute, love the print. And it goes with this. So this is the top. Feels really nice quality, like pretty little thing. I do have to say the quality, even though all the pieces are so affordable quality is really nice but I got everything true to size pretty much size 10 but I do get size 12 for my bust area sometimes just so it covers more because sometimes they come and they're like that big and let me show you the shoes before I start trying on my actual outfits you guys are gonna die these are gorgeous so of course I'll list the bikinis below and I'll also list the shoes below how nice are these by the way have got quite big feet, quite wide. Oh, here we go. That's what they look like with the little strap behind. It's actually quite comfortable. Beautiful. Oh, these are so beautiful. Oh, and so comfortable, yes. So these are like sliders that have like a toweling material. Gorgeous, like a really beautiful powder blue color, which would just look so nice with some of these pieces and some denim that I have. I have a feeling I'm gonna be living in these. On to the outfits. So I'm just gonna show you a few of my favorite outfits that I've got. So I've got this little cord. This top is beautiful. It's like a really slinky material. And I love just like the rich emerald blue teal colors, the swirls, and then it goes with this. Oh, this skirt looks like the perfect length as well. It's got like a really nice V front to the skirt. And you could also wear this little crop with denim shorts, which brings me on to my denim shorts. Um, I'm on the hunt for the perfect pair because as I said, I'm like in between sizes at the moment. I used to be an eight to 10 and now I'm like a 10 to 12, but I'm more of a, an 11, <laughs> which doesn't exist in UK sizes. So I got these from the Shape Collection. They look a bit big, but I always think that and then I put them on and I can barely squeeze into them. So these are a size 10 in the shape and then I'm going to compare them to, I think I've got one more pair of denim jeans, denim shorts. And these are just the regular pretty little thing shorts. Oh, these look nice. These look nice. I'm going to try these shorts on as well with this little top, which is so cute. And I just feel like, I know it's a knit, bear with me. I just feel like if you wore like just a bikini top underneath and then wait for it, the side ruches all the way up. And it's just like a really nice, it's very Ibiza, you know, with like your beads and your bracelets, and your denim shorts. But yeah, let's try those on as a combination and see if they fit and if I'll be taking them with me. Okay girls, this is such a beautiful cord. However, <laughs> you kind of have to embrace the bloat and by bloat, I mean like, uh, <laughs> that's what I would look like by the end of an evening. Um, but I don't mind that. I don't mind having my lumps and bumps out a little bit. 
but the print is stunning and yeah I really like it in the back it's very flattering it's not too short don't forget I'm quite tall I'm wearing my little toweling sliders and just like a little bag to accessorize it so these shape shorts are so comfortable and flattering so I've got the tag there but I have to say there's a lot of space here in my waist and these are size 10 um, so I thought that the waist was supposed to be smaller and the hips are supposed to be bigger but there's a lot of space here so maybe I should have sized down but I don't know if they would have fit fitted over my bum but still going to keep them because they're so comfortable and you wouldn't really know so yeah absolutely adore these thumbs up from me these shorts though wow these are thebalm.com I love them why do I keep saying that literally I've never said that in my life like I think I found my perfect pair of shorts size 10 they're not any particular shape not petite not shape not tall just regular pretty little thing shorts since you're in at the waist perfect fit wow absolutely love these this knit crop is so cozy so flattering I just need to put a little bikini top underneath it because it's a little bit see-through as well but yeah absolutely love this it comes in mocha as well but highly recommend this little number and now let's try on this jumpsuit I've been excited about this one I just feel like this is gonna fit all shapes all sizes oh it's just beautiful let's see I knew this play suit would be a winner it's so flattering oh I love it from the back I mean it's quite short but it's just flowy so if you wore it to the beach or out for an evening then I think it's fine I love the kind of three ties at the front as well very beautiful cinches you in but loads of give so this would be great if you're pregnant as well <laughs> I got a size 10 but yeah love this I'll absolutely be wearing this for a beach day okay next we have this gorgeous shirt <gasps> How nice is this? Again, the quality is amazing. I love the thick cuffs. It feels really soft and it's almost like, it's almost like a greeny blue color. Really beautiful. This will go nicely with the denim shorts and just, even just with nothing underneath or like a white bikini top. So we'll try that on with denim shorts. I mean, obviously this shirt was always going to be a win. I've just paired it with an old beach bag of mine but oh I just love it for daytime for evening the sleeves are beautiful you can roll them up so like fresh and just you could wear this have a glass of wine at your favorite restaurant I feel like you look like you got money when you wear this shirt but the shirt is actually very affordable <laughs> you know what I mean beauts but yeah I've not even worn anything underneath this because it's just simple beautiful airy and perfection next we have this really nice top I don't know if it's gonna to be too much fabric for the evening. I'm not sure, like, this is an evening top, I feel. This top, I have to say, is a little pleasant surprise. I was expecting to like this the least, but I think I love it, like, the most. It goes with my little sliders too. What an outfit. I'll definitely be wearing this. Like, it's a crime if I don't. It's like a little bit stretchy as well. Oh, and breezy, not too heavy. Yes. And last but not least, this is just a really beautiful velour play suit that's just ideal for travelling in. Oh, the zip's stuck. There we go. And it's just so soft. You can cinch it in at the waist, which I love. Or actually, it's just an elasticated band. But yeah, let's try that on as well. It's my last little piece. So slinky. You could probably wear a pair of heels and even go out in this. I love it. Girls, trust me on this one. This play suit is 100% going to be my airport outfit coming home because it's just so comfortable it actually like pulls you in at the waist as well but it's still comfortable because there's a lot of give and easy access if you're breastfeeding like me <laughs> this is literally going to be my outfit coming home and these are the little sliders I haven't bothered with the ankle strap I'm just standing on it so I could cut them off because then it's just less restrictive but it's such a cozy material a gorgeous color it looks really expensive that's what I love about this whole haul, to be honest with you. But yes, so finished on a high with the pretty little thing stuff. So now we just need to get all of the pieces into my case and then pack a few more outfits that I have downstairs delivered. And then my hair extensions, my heat tools, my makeup, 
body lotion and sun cream. Ah, oh, extension lead, always take an extension lead. Okay, right, let's move on to that now. <laughs> okay guys, so I've slipped into something a little bit more comfy. I have pretty much chucked everything in my case. <laughs> I put all the pretty little thing pieces in and then let me show you how I've kind of it's kind of like an organized mess no it's not a mess it's just too much stuff I've overpacked so this is what we're dealing with <laughs> we've got a cube full of like clothes going out bits this has my hair tools hair um, extensions and everything in these are some random bits that I forgot to put in so I've chucked them in obviously I have my shoes there my sunglasses in one of these cases which are really handy another pair of sandals um, this is always my go-to mirror to take the Ricky Ricky and then I have my tools here these are cute, I love these little cowboy boots, lashes I've added in there, I've had to just squeeze stuff in where I can, um, so it doesn't look aesthetically pleasing, but you know, everything's in there, I need to weigh it now. Um, this is my hand luggage, how gorgeous is this bag by the way, I've got Birdie's blanket in there, and then this is just the travel makeup that I take, not much, just some concealer, mascara, and a brow pencil, lip oil, something to freshen me up. Oh, that reminds me, freshening up. I need some wipes. Good old simple wipes. I'll put these in there. I'm just gonna wear a tracksuit to the airport and some trainers. Um, yeah, I haven't got loads of shoes, just like those sandals, the black ones, um, the blue ones and the cowboy boots. And these are going to be my airport trainers and I'll just wear them all week to be honest. I'm going to wear the Juicy Couture tracksuit with a denim jacket. I suppose we should weigh her. Whew. And it's late, <laughs> really late. So I'm going to start taking my makeup off now. Sorry it wasn't too in-depth when it came to all of my bits but I touched on most things and you get the vibes. We tried on some clothes, I'm taking them all and I can't wait to style them when I'm in Ibiza. I have done a pack with me video before but the main aim was to try on my PLT bits and to give you guys tips for everything you need to travel with a newborn. But I'll keep you updated as to whether I nailed it or not. <laughs> if I've forgotten something and she's crying and I'm like, oh, I'm so stupid then I'll let you know. Thank you so much for watching this video. Sorry BB hasn't made an appearance. She's been asleep all evening like a good little girl. Actually, she did wake up and cry at one point. I cannot lie, but there's gonna be lots of birdie blue over the week, so please subscribe, give this video a thumbs up, and I hope to see you on my next one, Beauts. Love you lots. Bye. I'm going to eat pizza.